currently the 20th of August and it's a Sunday. You can definitely feel the change of season in the air at the moment. And it's not just any season, it's autumn we're coming into. I'm so excited. I absolutely love autumn. And I love a changing season for many, many reasons. But with change comes a little bit of anxiety and worry. That's currently how I'm feeling at the moment. Definitely some excitement, but also some worry and tension about some change. And that's normal, but let's do a few things to make that better. Welcome back. <laughs> So today is currently Sunday. You guys know I'm an autumn stat. Oh my God, itchy nose, itchy nose, itchy nose. So I'm a winter baby, which means I love autumn and winter and I love everything about it. It has its pros and its cons, but mostly for me it's pros. I cannot wait for the fashion, the cozy evenings, just more of a routine, more structure in my life and I'm really looking forward to it. I've had a very fun summer. I've had a very relaxed summer. It's been great, but things are already picking up things are already starting to get busy. Reality is also starting to hit. With autumn comes a new semester, which college starts soon enough, and that's daunting. I'm also kind of the busiest I've ever been with my work, which is content creation, which I couldn't be more grateful for because I've been doing this for about two years, and in the last, I would say, six months, things have really, really started to pick up. In particularly this month, things have gotten really crazy. So it's me trying to juggle all of that and learn to juggle that, which is super exciting. So in this video today, I I just kind of want to spend my last few days of summer with you guys and just enjoying the time that I do have now that I won't have coming into a new college semester. I just kind of want to do some things I love, some things that make me feel good in the name of self-care. Self-care can mean a lot of things and for me it can mean things like literally having a shower and doing some skincare but it can also mean doing some internal reflection and journaling or just doing things for my mental health. So that's what we're gonna be doing over the next few days. I'm super glad you guys are joining me and I hope you guys can make some time for yourself to do this also. Right now, my first aim is to strip my bed. I'm gonna put on fresh bed sheets this evening because it's nice to go into a new week with fresh bed sheets. And then I'm going to give my room a quick tidy and then give myself a shower because as you can tell, I need it. So yeah, we'll get this bed stripped. I can't wink. This pile of clothes cleaned up, and then I will wash myself. So I'm freshly washed and showered. I'm now in my office. Isn't she gorgeous? I gave my office a little bit of a revamp there because college semester is coming back and I just love being in here right now, which feels so good. Speaking of college, I think for me right now, changing season naturally brings a little bit of anxiety and worry, but mostly I think I'm worried and anxious about college semester starting back. It'll be my final year and it's a little bit daunting and 
and intimidating. And usually when I'm overwhelmed and stressed, especially with college, I kind of just stop caring for myself. Put myself under serious pressure and I'm working very close to intense deadlines. I want to be more conscious of the fact that when I take breaks, it's so good for me. Um, that's when like inspiration strikes and you feel ready to sit down and start typing and writing. When you get the breaks during heavy workloads, you kind of get a minute to think and decompress. So it's important to take breaks and that's what I just need to print over my room this year is take the damn breaks. It's hard to remind your future self to take those breaks. However, our sponsor for today's video is honestly one of my favorites ever and that is Future Me. So if you haven't heard of Future Me, you're gonna want to listen to this. So let me explain. So Future Me is an online platform that allows you to write letters to your future self. So since 2002 when the website was created, 12 million letters have been sent by people to their future self. So the platform allows you to write a letter and you get to select a date in the future where this letter arrives in your inbox. So you can set this letter for a year, three years, five years, 20 years in advance if you want to but you can also set it a week in advance, two weeks in advance, whenever you want, but it has to be in the future. These letters can be completely private and just sent to you, or you can also post them onto the website anonymously. I've read some of the letters on the website and it's honestly the sweetest thing. It also just gives you so much inspiration seeing what other people have to say to themselves. It just feels like such a lovely, homely little community on there. So today I'm gonna to be writing myself a letter. I'm gonna set the date to, I think November, because I wanna remind myself in this upcoming semester to breathe. <laughs> so in my letter today, I'm gonna write some of the little and large things that bring me joy in life so that when I get my letter in November and I'm busy or I'm overwhelmed, I have to pick one or more of these little activities and do them for myself and take the time to do it to just remind myself the importance of breaks and just taking care of me. So let's get writing this letter. I'm gonna change it from Dear Future Me to Dear Maggie Moo. Maggie Moo is my family nickname for me, so hello. <laughs> I guess that is the best way to start. How are you? I guess it's important to ask that question. <laughs> Knowing you as well as I do, probably scared, worried, yeah excited and quite literally every other emotion. Okay, so here are some things I know make your heart happy. Okay, first thing, I already know it. A big bowl of pasta. Next, as always, fresh veggies, which I'm getting later this evening and I'm very excited about. A trip to the cinema with some salty popcorn because it's my favorite and a regular coke <laughs> obviously sorry to any diet coke or coke zero fans so you can use future me for goal setting mindfulness introspection looking after yourself checking in with yourself the service is completely free which is just phenomenal so i'm going to finish writing my letter but i really encourage you guys to do the same the link for future me is linked in my bio you can also download it on your phone which is such a great option to have but yeah i'm going to finish my letter now and then have a big bowl of pasta <laughs> morning. It is Monday morning and I'm sure you can hear that rain. I honestly just find the rain so comforting. I need to get some breakfast.
So it's a little bit later on since I last spoke with you all. There's one thing that I've been putting off for quite a while. I had these three shelves here built maybe two years ago now and this is exactly how I've had them styled since then. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because the books that I have on it aren't any books that I particularly enjoy or have read before. They're just kind of ones that were lying around my house. A few of them are obviously special but some I'm not a fan of and I just want to style this a little bit differently so I'm finally gonna do it. Well, I'm happy on my own Making coffee just for one and eating breakfast all alone and Fewer dishes to be done I'm never running behind You're never on my mind No longer there to make me comb my hair Fix my tie or kiss me goodbye Swear I'm happy on my own No one to worry where I am so I'm all finished the shelves and it looks so good. I'm actually so happy with how it turned out. I also ended up doing up my mantelpiece a little bit as well. So I'm very happy. I think it looks really good. It looks more vibrant, it has a bit more color to it, which I'm very happy about, but I will show you very soon. However, I got a new light recently and I need to go get a bulb for it and I'm gonna put it on the shelves. So I'm gonna go to the shop. Fingers crossed they have the bulb I need. Then I'll be back and I'll show you guys the shelves. The lamp is in, it is so adorable. It kind of looks like a little mushroom that's just glowing from the inside. I absolutely love it. And I think it gives good light to this area because my shelves are actually kind of dark. Natural light really doesn't hit these shelves and I think they need a light on here. So I'm so happy with how that's turned out. But let me show you my shelves. I'm actually gonna turn this off for a second just so you can actually see what's going on around. But here I have some classics. And again, some more classics. I love this little corner. Folklore albums there. This is actually just one of my favorite photographs of all time. I think this photograph perfectly encapsulates being in a forest and I love it. Then we have my perfumes. This little vase with some dried flowers. We've got some more classics here along with two kind of random hardbacks. Random books, a lot of these are kind of random. We have the M for Meg, obviously. More dried flowers, my little shell thing. And this is actually full of little stones from the beach. Let me show you. Love. These are some of my art books with some of my favorite artists. And then up here, we've got some of my film things. So we have my Chris Nolan book, my Harry Potter, my two Wes Andersons, and some Harry Potter books, along with a Twilight book, obviously. And here is my little upgraded mantelpiece. We have some incense, some books. I haven't read Beach Read, but these are two of my favorite recent reads. This little box, box for my perfume. This little fake plant, very nice. Love of my life, my Van Gogh poster that I got in Amsterdam. This little Hollywood frame and some books about film. My little stack of books and my vinyls. I'm over the moon with this situation. You see what I mean by up here being dark? It doesn't get a lot of light so I'm very happy about this little new addition creating some light for that space but yeah I'm gonna go have my dinner now. After my dinner I reckon I'm going to listen to my folklore vinyl. Ah, I'm so excited! 